Tree Sheets is an open source personal organizer. It's a kind of mix between a spreadsheet, a mind map, a to-do list. The mix of those things make it rather adapted to applying the getting things done method. It looks kind of old school approach, no bells and whistles. It doesn't have any like fancy distractions, but it can solve rather complicated stuff using some very simple tools. It's more like an enhanced pen and paper. So let's get started. At first you go to their website that is strlen.com slash tree sheets. When you get to that page you will see the first thing at the top you can choose your operating system it works on Windows Linux and has a better vision for Mac OS I'm using Linux 64-bit so I'm going to download open it with archive manager and you will see right away that this is quite a lightweight software so it will download very fast I'm going to extract this folder uh, I'm going to put it in my documents for now and uh, I'm going to enter this uh, folder and inside the folder you will see tree sheets the application you might want to uh, right click on it see the properties and check the permissions just to be sure that uh, the it has execution permissions so that you can run it as a program so double click on it and there you go uh, this uh, page that opens is a tutorial made by the creator of uh, tree sheets it's a very good tutorial and uh, what's uh, best of all is that you can read and you can act on it because this is a tree sheets document so you can learn something and apply it immediately so this is very nice in the video we're going to focus only on the the key concepts tree sheets at its heart is a spreadsheet optimized for to-do lists so it's a spreadsheet you have cells you can click on the cell to to select it you can uh, double click on a cell to start editing and enter text into it you have the usual shortcuts uh, Control C, Control V, copy paste, Control Z to undo when you do something you shouldn't have done. Now, what's different about it is that when you select a cell, you enter some text, you press enter, you see that the um, it's not the next cell that gets selected, but it's the line between the two cells. So here's the upper cell this is the cell uh, just below and there's a line between it why is that the thing is that if I press enter once again I will insert another cell between those two cells and I can do that very easily just pressing enter and uh, creating a list of things so it's really very easy to create lists and uh, enter text wherever you want in the page you just click somewhere and start typing it's that easy so this makes it perfect to insert text fast anywhere on the page it's perfect for creating to-do lists deleting information is also very easy you just select a cell and press delete or backspace but there's another functionality that is very useful that you can see here is the possibility to insert a table inside a cell so I will select this table here and I will press the insert key in my keyboard and you see that a new cell has appeared and I can start typing text and same principle I press enter and I start creating another list of things now I am going to insert again uh, I could insert another table that can be a whole spreadsheet inside this other cell so you can see that you can organize your ideas or your 
whatever you're trying to get to get planned or organized you can make a, a structure that fits you now comes the really nice functions that make the difference the first of all is the shift scroll wheel in your in your mouse so if I'm pressing shift I'm going to scroll down and you see that the text gets very small this can be used either to make something uh, important if you want something to look very important you can make it very big if something is not as important right now you can make it small but still see more or less what is the information that is inside the cell even without reading it I know more or less what it's about there's another way to bring attention to to a topic is to put some colors you can put colors to the background colors to the text the other small shortcut that is going to be very very useful it's uh, the control scroll wheel the control scroll wheel will focus in one aspect of your tree sheet so how is that here we have this very small text that is inside this column here with other text that is inside this cell that is the basics cell that is inside this complete uh, tree sheets let's say spreadsheet if I click on this cell I press control and I scroll up I'm going to get into the um, the grid the the grid that it's inside then into the column but the title of the grid is still here on top then I can go one more and now I'm into this cell and I can read what it's inside I have not changed the font size though I have focused in one item of my tree sheet this is really a powerful tool focusing on one thing at a given moment and then being able to zoom out again and see how this inserts into a bigger context is something that is very important and tree sheets is really good at doing that so apart from the insert key to insert a table the shift scroll wheel to zoom in or out and the control scroll wheel to focus in one element you'll find out some other shortcuts that can come very handy if you see the menu here at the top you'll see all the shortcuts that are listed just uh, beside their function so as you use the program you will get familiar with those shortcuts and you'll start using them uh, you can take a cell like this one and come here to the menu edit and toggle fold or F10 and you see that now it's in a compact mode you see a plus icon you can use the control scroll wheel to zoom into it to to focus into it and then you will have access to the whole text or you can just use the F10 or edit toggle fold to see it again you can also display it in different ways so again here to the menu edit layout render style you have a lot of render styles you can choose for example a horizontal layout with line style rendering this render style here as you can see uh, makes it look more like a mind map you have uh, one element you have lines connecting the different elements into the table so really come here to the edit and layout render style experiment with the different layouts once you're done with your planning you can also print it so file print and have it in your pocket also with a pen you can make notes into it that's it for tree sheets it's a very nice program I have adopted it myself and I hope you will find it useful too Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.